All right, Shalom, Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and Ruel. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, the title's lesson is Spare Not the Rod. <clears throat> and um, you know, what it means by that is you know, spank your kids, man. Okay, that's how you show love to your kids, according to the scriptures, man. Okay, you know, in this society that we live in, Esau tells you you can't spank your kids, you can't do this, you can't do that. What well, the Lord said, if you if you beat if you beat your kids. For going off, of course, you're not going to be beating your kid for no reason, right? But, you know, your son or your daughter goes off, you're supposed to what? You're supposed to hit him with the rod, man. Okay? And that's another way Esau has, has, uh, has put out there to keep us further away from our power, man. Keep us further away from loving our children. Because the scriptures give us the guidelines on how to be parents, right? You just have to hearken to them. This is Proverbs 13 and 24. It says, He that spareth the rod hateth his son. That's right. So if you don't spank your kids for going off, right? Then what? You hate your son, man. You hate your child. Right? And, you know, in this society, they say, Oh, if you, you know, give your kids a spanking that you don't love them. You know what I mean? And that's totally, that's totally off, man. You know, E's uh, MO is to continue to keep you Israelites going off, man. Whether it's through the few food, whether it's through the music, okay, whether it's through uh, black culture, Latino culture, okay, Native American culture, to keep our people going off, he's going to do it, man. Okay? So, of course, you got to be wise. You know, but the scripture says what? Uh, Proverbs 13 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chast chasteth him be times. Yeah, you know, he he, uh, he he hops up on him, man. He beats him early, man. You know, he don't play around. You know, your, 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 your son goes off, okay? You, you, you give him the rod, man, quickly, immediately, right? So that what? So that he doesn't do what he did again. You know, nowadays, you know, kids do things and they, you know, and don't do it again, honey, you know, and, you know, all soft and everything. And what the child goes and, and, and does it again, man. Why? Because he knows he's not going to be punished for it, man. You know, it's okay, according to the Bible, to spank your son, man. To spank your child. That's it, actually, that's how you love them, man. You know? And we got to get back in that, that, that ancient mindset, man. You know? Let's grab another precept. Let's go to, uh, since we're already in Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs 23. <clears throat> Proverbs 23. It says, I started at 12. It says, apply thy heart, which is your mind, unto instruction, which is the wisdom and knowledge of understanding these scriptures, and thy ears to the words of knowledge. See, this is knowledge that's coming out, man, that was hidden from us <coughs> for, for, for ages, man. Now that we're coming back into who we are as Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and look, man, it's time to uh, take on our heritage, man, and live by the scriptures to the best of our ability, man. And one thing the scripture tells us to do is how to handle our children when they go off, man. <clears throat> Verse 13. Withhold not correction from the child. For if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. That's right, man. He's not going to die, man. He's going to learn from his mistakes. He's not going to do them again. It says, verse 14. Thou shalt beat him with the rod... And shall deliver his soul from hell. Okay. 
in hell is a condition, man. Okay? So the point is, <clears throat> if you withhold correction from your child, then look, your child's going to die, man. And we all want our children to live, so we have to correct them, man, when they go off. <clears throat> okay? You have to correct them, man. You correct them with the rod, man. Some, you know, I know my, my parents, they use a, you know, they use a belt. They use, um, you know, this like, uh, this paddle, okay, that my father used, all right? But you have to correct your children, man. And you're wondering why they're unruly, okay? Don't want to listen. Talking back, okay? Being disrespectful. It's because a lot of our people are not applying the scriptures, man. You know? And you also have to be wise because Esau's out here, man. You know, <clears throat> you know, looking for any types of ways you can take Jake down, man. And one of the ways is through uh, uh, abuse. Oh, that's child abuse. That's child abuse. Well, well the, the scripture said we're supposed to uh, spare not the rod, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why another reason why this devil has to go, man. And when we say devil, we mean deceiver. Because that's what devil really means, man. And the great deceiver is Esau Edom. Okay, who is he today? The so-called white man. So let's grab a couple more and wrap it on up. Let's go to... Um, Let's go to, um, matter of fact, since we're still here, I'm going to get this, and then I'm going to go to Sirach. This is Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's right, man. And that's <clears throat> what us men, right? What the scripture says, oh, ye men are called. The men are supposed to do this, man. Train up a child in the way that he should go with these scriptures, with the wisdom, with the knowledge. So that when he's older, he'll retain it and pass it on to his kids, man. So that he'll take it and pass it on to his his his, his uh his seed, man. Okay. Now that we got this truth, man, we gotta come back to what to who we are, man. As Hebrew Israelites, this is part of our uh our, our customs, man. You know? But Esau wants you to be like him. You, you ever be out in the store, you, you see uh Edomite like talking back to his uh to his to his mom, to his dad. F you dad. I don't care, mom. Go to hell. You're gonna buy me this. You know? That's not how, you know, kids are supposed to be acting, man. <clears throat> They're supposed to be acting with the utmost respect for their parents, man. You know? And we got to bring that back to our children, man. You know? And like I said, it's only for when they're going off. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Let's go to Sirach. Sirach, I believe that's... First chapter. Okay. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Lock you. It says, um, <clears throat> Sirach chapter 1, verse 15. She had built an everlasting foundation with men, this wisdom, and she shall continue with their seed. Going back to what we read in Proverbs. Okay, the 22nd chapter. Train but child in the way that he shall go and he shall never depart from it. Right? It's going to continue with their seed. On down to that seed. On down to that seed. On down to that seed. And that's what Esau hates, man. That's what Esau doesn't want to see. Okay? Because look, if this was the ancient time, man, a lot of these kids would have been put down, man. A lot of these kids would have been put down, man. To get the wickedness. Matter of fact, we'll end off on that, man. To get the wickedness out of Israel. <clears throat> What's that? Deuteronomy? This is Deuteronomy. Veinteuno. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Verse 8. I started 8. It says, Be. Um, no, 18. 
Slakia. Yep. It says, if a man have a stubborn, Deuteronomy 21, 18, if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastised him, he will not hearken unto them. So, yeah, you know, back in the ancient world, if you had a son that was rebellious, that didn't want to listen, that wanted to do his own thing, that had a hard rock head, for, okay, for a brain, that didn't want to uh, do what his parents said do, right? Okay, that's what the scripture said. And look, and they've already them uh, uh, beat him, right? That's what the scripture say, verse nineteen. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him, and look, grab him up, right? You know, bring your, you know, butt on, all right, and bring him out unto the elders of this of his city, and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, This is our son. He is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Right? Hold on. <clears throat> it says, And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he die. Can you imagine that happening today, man? Right? Taking rebellious kids and look and, and and look, how many parents would do that nowadays, man? None, none. Knowing that their child's going off, right? <sighs> Deuteronomy twenty one twenty one, and the and all the men of this city shall stone him with stones, that he dies, so that thou shalt put evil, bad times away from among you, and all Israel shall hear. And fear, right? So the Lord, you know, back in the ancient times, man, a lot of these kids today they wouldn't be they wouldn't be roaming the earth, man. Okay, but we are in captivity. All right, you have to be wise. Is a serpent harmless as a dove, right? As the scriptures say. But just know, you know, your child goes off, you know. How many have been there? Okay. Okay. So with that, you know, Lord is edifying, you know. Before I go any further, I to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash, the honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, teaching us his truth according to the Bible, hungry well, another Shalom, one, the all the sincere, I came to the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.